Under an agreement for the promotion and protection of investments signed between the governments of the United Kingdom and Belize in 1982, the British Caribbean Bank and Price Holdings International Limited have filed a notice of arbitration against the Brisenio administration. Invoking the Bilateral Investment Treaty succeeds government's refusal to grant environmental clearance for the proposed cruise port terminal and bulk cargo facility project at the Port of Belize. In January 2022, a letter was delivered to the government of Belize indicating that if both parties could not arrive at an amicable agreement within three months, the principals of the Port of Belize would have the right to submit the dispute to international arbitration. This falls under Article 8 of the Bilateral Investment Treaty. Another letter was sent to GOB a year later, making note of the development since the notice of dispute. By then, however, the matter had already been compounded and made worse. Prize Holdings International Limited is registered in Turks and Caicos, a British overseas territory, and owns the Belize Port Limited as well as the Port of Belize Limited exclusively. As such, it indirectly owns land and infrastructure in and around Port Loyola and the Port of Belize through its subsidiaries. In September 2022, Prime Minister John Brissinger told reporters that it was Lord Michael Ashcroft's right as anyone else to take government to arbitration. That's his right. I mean, um, anybody can take us to, to, um, to um, arbitration. I um, mean, in this case, I don't think it's arbitration. He was, um, he said that he was considering, and he's not done it um, so far, um, suing government um, using the, the treaty between Great Britain and, and Belize about, um, for want of a better word, freedom of, of in, for investment. And um, he felt that he was, um, um, that Waterloo was not being given a fair shot. Um, and, and that's his right like any other citizen, but in this case, him being a British citizen, also taking advantage of that treaty that, been, that was signed by both countries. In December 2022, Waterloo Investment Holdings, which at the time was the parent company for the Port of Belize Limited, launched an appeal of the Department of Environment's decision to refuse environmental clearance for the port expansion project. At the time, Prime Minister John Brissenio, who is now listed as the respondent in the matter, told reporters that government could not uphold the present circumstances at the Port of Belize. We have to wait until the, I think it's the 21st, probably today. Up to today, I think the Port of Belize have, um, or Waterloo, um, time to appeal um, the judgment. Um, and so we want, to, we want to wait and see what will happen. But certainly we cannot keep the status quo at the Port of Belize. An investment has to be done to fix the, if, if there's no cruise terminal, the port or the Cargo. container slash cargo terminal has to be upgraded. That's not a matter of if it will be done, it has to be done either by the receiver or a new set of investors would come in or if government someday may add it. We, we are not there. We are not. Um, the important thing is that we need to finish off whatever already started. The process. BCB and Prize are represented by a battery of lawyers from Essex Courts Chambers and Clifford Chance LLP respectively both based in London. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.